Hello everyone and welcome to another video with Learn at No Star. Today we are going to be solving a real SQL interview question asked in companies like Google, Meta and Amazon. The question appears simple at first glance until you try to solve it. More than 80% of the developers have got it wrong. And here's the question. You are given a table with a list of user purchase. What is the question? To find the first purchase after the user's total spend crosses $500. Various variations of this question have been asked in interviews like for Meta they ask find the first session after the user exceeds X minutes of total watch time. Amazon frames it as to find the first order after cumulative spend crosses 100 which is very similar to the one that we are solving today. And for Google, it is sometimes framed as after each student's cumulative score crosses 60, return the next text test attempt. So let's get started and solve the question step by step. We are given a table called purchase and you can see that there are a set of purchase IDs for each user ID with different amounts. So first we want to calculate the cumulative amount or spend for each user and then we want to find out the very next purchase once the cumulative spending crosses 500. So let's first write a query to solve step 1 which is to find the cumulative amount or cumulative spend for each user. To find the cumulative amount we simply need to make use of the sum aggregate function in a window frame. So we say sum of amount and then we need to define the frame over partition by user ID because we are going to calculate it for each user and then we are going to order by the purchase date. We are going to call it as running total. Now if we execute this, we are going to get a running total for each record for each user and it is ordered by the purchase date. Now we said we want the first purchase when the total, the running total crosses 500. So to filter on this running total, first of all we are going to put this query in a CTE. So let's just say CTE total as. And now let's select star from a CTE where running total is greater than 500. So now we have all the records where the running total is greater than 500. We need this exact record for user ID 1 where it crossed 500. So how can we get that record? And that is the special filter that you need to understand. To identify this particular record, we need to first find out the previous running total or the running total from the previous row. So if we look at the so if we remove this filter and execute the whole query and look uh, on the records for user ID 1, we see that here the running total was 470 and here it became greater than 500 which was 650. So we need to identify the running total for this record as well. So to access the previous records value, we will be using the lag function. So what we will do here is use lag on the running total column from the previous CTE to find the same partitions order by the purchase date again and call it as previous running total. So now if you execute, you will see that you have the current running total from the current record and the previous running total. So to identify the exact record where the user spending crosses $500, for example, for user ID 1, it is going to be purchase ID 4. So to identify this record, we are going to apply a filter based on running total and previous running total. 
So to apply that filter, we need to put this query also as another CTE so that we can apply the filter on the results of both these CTEs. So we are just going to be calling it as previous total as the results from this query. And then we're going to apply our final filter, select star from previous total where previous running total is less than equal to 500 because we're saying crosses 500. So we have to make sure that we take into account the value equal to 500. It should not be equal to 500. It should be greater than 500. The purchase that we need to identify in our output. So previous running total should be less than or equal to 500. And the current running total for that record should be greater than 500. If you execute this query, you need to correct the name, execute this again, and you will get the exact records for user ID 1 and 2 where the cumulative spending crosses 500. And this is the first purchase. So purchase ID 4 for user ID 1 and purchase ID 7 for user ID 2 after the user's total spend crosses $500. And this is the exact query that we use to answer this question. The same structure of the query and logic can be used to answer the questions that we previously showed which have been asked in other farm companies. I hope this video was useful. See you in the next video.